tucked the berries away for later, even though I was craving a cliffside snack. Come right in. Oh, wait, you can't. <laughs> right. These starberries are perfectly ripe. Just squishy enough, and with a faint scent of musky cabbage. Now, if you pass me one shiny gold coin, Grandma's giant star shroom pie is all yours. Oh, thanks for the patronage. Share this pie with a friend or two, or three. <laughs> and good luck in the tournament. Yes, lad? How do I get my free sample? Well, bring me some bitter root. It's what I need to finish my walnut strudel. It grows under big, heavy rocks. Good day. Bye bye. Thanks for the momentary lapse in conversation. Ulfie was unquestionably hangry. Now that I am refurbished, I'll allow you to cross. Though a quick-footed peacock already got to that snarling snarlax. Oh, I almost forgot. Goosey, for your act of kindness, Ulfie would like you to have this. Whenever you need me, just give it a blow. Step lively. Alfie needs to get back to the guild meeting. It's almost croissant time. I'm getting tired of opening that door for hey, him. Hey, my coin! No, no, Pilar, I don't know if I'd say it like that. As long as he knows the password, you have to let him in. I'm sure he'll be back any second. Where does he keep disappearing to? I wish Ulfie would stay put. This meeting is already way over schedule. He is a weak link. Needed to get closer to hear what was going on. Nice of you to finally join us, Olfi. Merci. Olfi apologizes for tardiness. I uh, was. Uh, hey, where are the croissants? I forgot the croissant. Okay. Oh my Dieu! Qu'est-ce qu'il va faire? Are we here to discuss our demands, or are we here to eat crescent-shaped pastries? 
I'm here for the pastries, so... <sighs> if you didn't know the secret password, I would never let you in! No, no, Pilar, I, I, I need you to calm down, okay? We've made enough waves as it is. Daventry needs their bridges, and gosh darn it, we need to get back to work. You'd think with his giant head, there'd be a brain bigger than a macaroon. Orphie, you're so easily tricked into sitting down. You should stand up for our rights. Well, easy. But Alfie likes sitting down. Helps relieve pressure off my back. Look, Pilar, I'm on your side, but I need you to work with me. We need to build our bridges and get over this. What's a compromise we can all live with? Oh, there is no compromise. Those tiny ingrates go around stomping on the shoulders of giants with no thought as to who is underneath them. They climbed the ladder of success and forgot who got them across their troubled waters. What's in it for us? We will show them all what happens when you cross the wrong bridge. Oh, jeez, Pilar, I don't know. I wouldn't go so far as to say they don't appreciate us, but by golly, I wouldn't go so far as to say they do either. Bridges don't grow on trees. They grow on us. If Daventry wants us to go back to work, those guards need to stop breaking our backs. That Ulfie can agree with. The guards with pointy shoes hurt Ulfie's back. <sighs> so, all of us are aligned with the strategy that the guards need to step lightly when crossing on our backs. Now we're getting somewhere. The next item is a Grand Counselor replacement. I have been happy to serve you, but as you know, I am going to retire next year. Me and the wife are finally going to have time to take up art classes. How cute. You want to be a drawbridge? Motion to nominate Pilar for the position. And now, Pilar, you know you can't nominate yourself. Uh, does anyone else want to nominate our fine Sergeant of Arms, Pilar, for Grand Counselor? No! I want you, Mr. Waddles! Ah, oh, jeez, guys, who would have thunk that an average bridge troll like me from a small town creek could grow to be the head of the second largest guild in the Midwestern Hemisphere? But it's time for me to suspend my work here and give my family the support they need. Let's move this item to next week. Next item up for discussion, should we lift our embargo on the consumption of goats? Ah, oh, I long for the days of feasting on roasted goat leg with a nice aged raclette. <laughs> <laughs> Pilar, everyone knows there are no more goats in Daventry. Only majestic unicorns. <laughs> Alfie, there is no such thing. That's what he had. I've seen him. Alfie, he pulled a fast one on you, you fathead. Well, everyone else calls them majestic unicorns. Ah, Alfie, if everyone jumped off a, well, my back, would you? Use your head and think for yourself. Or use your lips and close your mouth. Titwa! Okie dokie then. I think we should table this for next week. The next item is a Grand Counselor replacement. I have been happy to serve you, but as you know, I am going to retire next year. Me and the wife are finally going to have time to take up art classes. How cute. You want to be a drawbridge? Motion to nominate Pilar for the position. And now, Pilar, you know you can't nominate yourself. Next item up for discussion, should we lift our embargo on the consumption of goats? Ah, oh, I long for the days of feasting on roasted goat leg with a nice aged raclette. 
<laughs> Pilar, everyone knows there are no more goats in Daventry. Only majestic unicorns. <laughs> Alfie, there is no such thing. That's what he had. I've seen him. Alfie, he pulled a fast one on you. You fatted. Well, everyone else calls them majestic unicorns. Oh, Alfie, if everyone jumped off a... well, my back, would you? Use your head and think for yourself. Or use your lips and close your mouth. Titwa! Okie dokie then. I think we should table this for next week. The next item is a Grand Counselor replacement. I have been happy to serve you, but as you know, I am... Who is that our croissant delivery? You'd think with his giant head, there'd be a brain bigger than a macaroon. Orphie, you're so easily tricked into sitting down. You should stand up for our rights. Well, easy. But Alfie likes sitting down. Helps What's this doing here? Look, Pilar, I'm on your side, but I need you to work with me. We need to build our bridges and get over this. What's a compromise we can all live with? Oh, there is no compromise. Shortcut. Those Brilliant. tiny ingrates go around stomping on the shoulders of giants with no thought as to who is underneath them. They climbed the ladder of success and forgot who got them across their troubled waters. What's in it for us? We will show them all what happens when you cross the wrong bridge. Ah, oh, jeez, Pilar, I don't know. I wouldn't go so far as to say they don't appreciate us, but by golly, I... Must be the win. Next item up for discussion, should we lift our embark... Squirrels. They disgust me. The next item is a Grand Counselor replacement. I have been happy to serve you, but as you know, I am going to retire next year. Me and the wife are finally going to have time to take up art classes. How cute. You want to be a drawbridge? Motion to nominate Pilar for the position. And now, Pilar, you know you can't nominate yourself. Uh, does anyone else want to nominate our fine sergeant of arms, Pilar, for Grand Counselor? No. That mouthpiece was a mismatch for that horn. Next item up for discussion, should we lift our embargo on the consumption of goats? Ah, oh, I long... Alfie has to get back to the guild meeting.
Hey, Graham. Don't know how you got the coin to get one of these. You can't even afford proper armor for yourself. Nevertheless, stick that on anything you want chopped, lifted, or crumbled. And the crumbler and I will get to work. Maybe it Please be careful. These items are sharp. Bye. Forget what those other guys say. A sword is mightier than a pen. Don't know how you got the coin to get one of these. You can't even afford proper armor for yourself. Nevertheless, stick that on anything you want chopped, lifted, or crumbled. And the crumbler and I will get to work. gonna get some good rest tonight. Oh wait. No, no, I'm I'm not. Coming along, the twistiest and the pokiest. One second! Looks like we could put some love on those bones. So, do you have any news you wish to share? Oh, can you tell? Am I blushing? I'm engaged, Graham. My love, Bramble, said yes. Oh, that's great. Congratulations. Oh, the evening was perfect. The view was gorgeous. And the insects were kept at bay. You keep doing you, Wenty. Good day. Have a crepe day. Ah. Just what I needed to finish my walnut strudel. Here is your free sample. How can I help? So, do you have any news you wish to share? Oh, can you tell? Am I blushing? <laughs> I'm engaged, Graham. My love, Bramble, said yes. Oh, that's great. Congratulations! Oh, the evening was perfect. The view was gorgeous. And the insects were kept at bay. You keep doing you, Wenty. Good day. Have a sweet day. Hey, Graham. Thought I'd get some air and work on my dagger project. Wh 
it seems unlikely someone could just take your bed. How'd they do it? Aren't you the little backhanded complimenter? If I knew, why would I let them take it? I suppose, if I didn't snore as loud as Mrs. Crumbler tears through trees, maybe I would have heard him coming. So, you just dreamt up the Crumbler. One day, I put my hands to paper. And then I ripped up that paper, because what I really wanted was something that could smash up trees and rocks and anything that got in my way. A few blades here, a few more there, and perfection was born. Bye for now. Forget what those other guys say. A sword is mightier than a pen. My love, you're my everything. I might not have enough money for a ring yet, but I just can't wait any longer. Will you be mine forever? I better put this back. Bees! I ruined the bees' day. <laughs> that lovely meal. Someone had set the scene for a lovely evening. Kids, don't stop screaming until Dad pulls over the wagon. There was an extra rab, but Princess Madeline used it for herself. When she travels, she demands only the best. If Princess Madeline ever left me, do you think Mr. Fancy Cakes could fit under my belly? Here to help. Hello there. Are you ready to begin? What exactly are the rules? The rules are simple, for a change. If you can stay dry, you win. I'm ready. Let's do this. All right. Let the duel of strength commence. I'm glad we can settle this like gentlemen. <laughs> Wanna see if that feather can fly? I'll oop! One step closer to Squirrel Nation. I got you, Graham.
You should find a way to get all the horn. How I love this day. So, I have to ask, where did you learn to bake? Oh, my mother taught me. Then, I taught myself. You cannot learn to bake with this kind of love alone. It has to be handed down to you. So, how am I doing in Daventry so far? Do you need a hug? Honestly, who hurt you? Ah, oh, but enough of this evaluation. I'm getting married! And I'm in a great mood. You know, I don't mind that you stole my bread, as long as it was for a good cause. Wait, you knew? <laughs> Why, of course I knew, Graham. I mean, there's no one else in this town. What? You knew it was me the whole time? Why did you lock up the shop? Well, you can't just go around telling lies. There are consequences. What makes a good dessert? <laughs> what doesn't? Why stop at one meal when you can have a second one immediately following it with a different name? Bye for now. Don't forget to follow your heart. Hey, Graham. Thought I'd get some air and work on my dagger project. So, how am I doing in Daventry so far? You may have come into town thinking you needed to show everyone how clever you are. But I'm happy you're back with those of us that seize opportunity with our hands, not our heads. Don't forget, you are well on your way to earning a Wedzel Wolf patch, so keep it up. Bye for now. Make your move. Oh, you look like you need a hug! Thanks for getting Ulfie out of there. That meeting was getting heated. And now, now, Pilar, I don't... Maybe I could beat someone to the meeting and hear the password. Where do you keep going? Think with his giant head, there'd be a brain bigger than a macaroon. Wolfie, you're so easily tricked into sitting down. You should stand up for our rights. 
Well, easy. But Alfie likes sitting down. Helps relieve pressure off my back. Look, Pilar, I'm on your side, but I need you to work with me. We need to build our bridges and get over this. What's a compromise we can all live with? Oh, there is no compromise. Those tiny ingrates go around stomping on the shoulders of giants with no thought as to who is underneath them. They climbed the ladder of success and forgot who got them across their troubled waters. What's in it for us? We will show them all what happens when you cross the wrong bridge. What? Very well. Now what's the secret knock? You do not belong. Leave. Next item up for discussion, should we lift our embargo on the consumption of goats? Ah, oh, I long for the days of feasting on roasted goat leg with a nice aged raclette. <laughs> Continue with the secret knock. Très bien. That is not correct. We know that's you, Kyle. The uh, next item is... Very well. Now what's the secret knock? Très bien. And then? Jacques! Get out. Next item. Continue with the secret knock. Très bien. And... Then... Nearly there. What's the password? What do you call someone who sells bridges? A bridge dealer. Nice try. Away with you. Vato, you'd think with his giant head, there'd be a brain bigger than a m Nearly there. What's the password? What do you call a bridge to a pottery shop? A bridge to stoneware. A failure. Leave. Vato. Uh, next. Now, speak the secret password. Knock, knock. Who's there? Banana. Ugh. Banana who? Knock, knock. Who? Who could possibly be there? Arch. I'm going to deck you if you don't get to the punchline. Arch, you glad the banana went away? Treachery! Get out! Next item up for discussion, should we lift our embargo on the consumption of goats? Ah. Oh. I long for the days of feasting on roasted goat leg with a nice aged raclette. <laughs> <laughs> Pilar, everyone knows there are no more goats in Daventry. Only majestic unicorns. <laughs> Alfie, there is no such thing. That's what he had. I've seen him. Alfie. See, Alfie has to get back to the guild meeting. He needs to work on his time management skills. And now, now, Pilar, I don't know if I'd say it like that. If I could find a fast way down there, I would be able to hear the password. Alfie, I am going to... Step lively. Alfie needs to get back to the guild meeting. It's almost croissant. He is a weak link. 
I'm sure I'll be back any second. He'd better. What is the knock? And the password. Trust me. <laughs> Très bien. Oh, sorry I had to run again. Ophi ate a star shroom pie for afternoon snack. Oh, too rich for Ophi. <sighs> Figures. Uh, no. And lastly, what's the password? Um, trust me? That is correct. Hold on. Hey, you. You don't look like a troll. You look like a scab. And I love the taste of scabs. Mmm, delicious. He's no scab. He's a goose. And Ulfie's friend. Let him in, Pilar. He might have our snacks. Any friend of Ulfie's is... usually make-believe. I can't believe you don't recognize your own brethren. I, too, am a bridge troll. See? You are? Why didn't you just say so? Well, I... I... I, I know that often bridge trolls from different regions can sometimes be at war, and I'm just here passing through. I know not. You must prove you are indeed a troll. Why don't you join me in the secret dance of the Bridge Troll Guild, and we'll find out. Yeah. Oh, can't stop. All right. Well, there you have it, Pilar. He sure does seem like a troll to me. Mr. Bridge Goose representing Ludor, on behalf of myself, the Grand Counselor of the Daventry Bridge Troll Guild, I would like to welcome you to our chapter meeting. It'll be wonderful to have an outsider's opinion on your strike. As long as he sides with me, it will be wonderful. Since I am sick of supporting the people of Daventry, I have collected all of the Trollhorn mouthpieces. They cannot be used anymore. Golly gosh, Pilar, that... that seems a bit extreme. Not extreme enough. We need to destroy these horns once and for all. We need to make a statement. We are not at their beck and call. Daventry has burned their bridges with us, and I will set fire to all these horns. Um... Where are your horns, Pilar? Mine are already up on the hill where I will take all of these. Everyone will be able to see them burn. You, newcomer, throw in whatever is used to summon you. You are a part of this. How cute. A little bridge bell for a little goose. Okay, well, uh, according to the agenda, uh, the next line item we need to discuss is our negotiation tactics. What is our strategy for getting those guards to stop stomping around on their backs? Oh, 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 they should cross barefoot without their sharp heels. I think we should feast on their legs and force them to crawl over our backs. Okay, now... Both interesting perspectives, I hear you, but we gotta find a way for us all to be successful. Uh, what do you think, Bridge Goose?
I think I'm with Ulfie on this one. <sighs> Thanks. Good thinking, friend. A point taken. Moving on. Switching topics. Ulfie, it's your turn to bring the snacks next week. Do we want sweet or salty? Ulfie loves the taste of sweet. Ulfie, you are an unrefined swine. Savory is the only snack accepted by my palate. You both bring up good points, but we have to come together on this. Uh, what do you think, Bridge Goose? I have a little sweet tooth myself. Mmm, sweetie cakes. A happy tum-tum makes a happy friend. Okay, continuing forward. We need to decide on our teen jackets. The tailor cannot wait any longer for our final decision. Ulfi is a fan of the majestic unicorn and butterfly logo with the slogan, Building Bridges to the Future. No. Our jacket needs to be exciting. We should go with something epic, something that will burn into their minds. We should go with trolls eating humans with the slogan, Feed the Trolls. Okay, okay, those are both great points, but we really need to find a side to align on and work together. Uh, what do you think, Bridge Goose? I'm gonna go with Ulfie on this. I love butterflies and unicorns. A bridge to friendship is the best way to solve this. Next item, negotiation tactics. Getting guards to step softly across our backs. Make them walk barefoot. Eat their legs and force them to crawl across. Guys, I feel like we're talking in circles here. That's it. Waddles is right. We're repeating ourselves. I'm taking my horn and leaving until you sort this out. Okay then, uh, really? Uh, well then, uh, this uh, meeting should be adjourned anyway. I had tricked them. That bell was of little use to me, but Waddle's horn was sure to blow open new paths. That mouthpiece was a mismatch for that horn. That snarly snarlax with the six legs, three claws, and one tooth from this distance? Gross. Yeast. Ugh. Ah. I was fine viewing that snarly snarlax with the six legs, three claws, and one tooth from this distance? Gross.
is not easy to ignite. I can't take this stress. I need a snack. Mm. She seemed to enjoy snack breaks more than trying to light a fire. Get away from my raison croissant. Ils sont à moi. Must be some more kindling around here. Hello, little stinker. Can't believe you sided with Alfie, that rump host. These horns will soon burn. I need to show Daventry women business. We are not their servants who run at the bellow of a horn. And that pile was the last horn I needed to complete the set. Step right up, if you want to get burned. Maybe if I just regain my strength. I never waste food. I hung on to that eye for a while. How to rise! I don't feel so good. Spin! Spin! Spinny! Spin! Shake! Shaky, shaky, shaky! Shimmy. Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. Take a nap. I need a nap. This is just a crazy dream. You don't like the taste of lanky teenager. I now had the complete set. I have all the horns I need. I wouldn't want to hypnotize myself.
I never waste food. Try of stomach seemed to have led him into trouble. I'd have to find a way to get him down. I never waste food. Good luck in the duel of strength. I was just enjoying the most lovely glass of cheese. But no, this is much more important. Smell the guard when you're ready. Hello there. Are you ready to try again? I'm ready. Let's do this. All right then. Let the duel of strength commence. Again. Oh, well, fancy seeing you here again. Wick me when it's over. One step closer to Squirrel Nation. Whoa. He's cheating with that nasty troll! Good thinking, Graham! Look! Look at it, Madeline. Everything the light touches will be yours. The view of victory. I know it's off-brand, but Acorn can do it! Wait, no! Easy, easy! No one needs to see where this line goes. Careful, careful! Don't get it tangled! Oh, brother, you shouldn't have done that. Look, I I'm no wolf for you to trap. This rope only traps Wetzels, not acorns. 
We should stop this nonsense and get back to throwing each other into the water. Oh, so many knots. Oh, darn. My trap ropes have gotten all tangled. Good thing I have more colorful robes used only for trapping wolves, only. Are you pulling my string? You will never beat me in a tug of war. <laughs> let's take a pause from the duel of strength and let's everyone help Acorn gather his deadly rope for killing. As long as we can stay on our feet, he can't get to our little secret. Boy, you will never trip me up on my own trap. Ruining it. I might have stumbled, but this acorn stays planted. You shouldn't have done that. You almost had me there. What game are you playing here? He can't unravel this fast enough if we keep up this pace. Step carefully and focus, Acorn. Gather all the rope. Boy, stop stringing me along. Whoa. This is bound to get messy. Careful. Wouldn't want a trip. Look, I I'm sorry I tired of your steed. Now, can you give me back my rope? This trapping rope is dangerous, unless you know how to use it. Easy, easy. No one needs to see where this line goes. <sighs> Ooh. Trapping ropes. Ugh. Gotcha, skinny pants. <laughs> Look out below. Ooh, thank God that's over, Madeline. Our secret is safe. It's not a complete lie. You know, I did trap a Wetzel Wolf in it. You boiled him again, Graham. Not again. He really won't like where this rope leads. He's getting closer, Princess Madeline. Do something. Are you pulling my string? You will never beat me in a tug of war. Heave. Heave. Ouch. The bull is awakening. Ugh. Careful, little bean. Some threads aren't meant to be unraveled. You're never gonna get strong if you keep skipping belly day. Ooh. I'm gonna need a warm bath later. Could you give me a neck massage? <laughs> no? He's a cheater! But not according to Addendum 4934. Way to go, Graham! Hey, there's a reason why I keep my secret roped up. Oh, this is gonna get dark. Okay, uh, fine. My secret will steal your soul. I might have stumbled, but this acorn stays planted. You shouldn't have done that. You almost had me there. It's Pandora's box. Turn back now. <sighs> no! The Drosdek Demon! the time for the laughing and the ridicule. <laughs> oh, 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 brother. <laughs> no, no, 
No, no, stop! You're making it worse! Eek! Here, take it back! I'm stuck to my hand! Up! Uh, I don't want this! Hold still! Worth it! Madeline, chew this off me! It's crumbling time! Sorry, I'm not sorry! As much fun as this is... Pull me back, Miss Bridges, Madeline! I knew you had it in you. With the help of some trolls and Manny, I had bested that giant and revealed his weakness. I was one step closer to the knighthood, but I didn't feel that great about it. Hello? Down here? We could all use a lift, you know? Yes, yes, right this way. No, I think, stop. Oh, I've had it with their orders. The time is now. Let's show these ingrate what happens when you cross the wrong bridge. Eh, but how does it feel to be stepped on? Run! Come Run. back here, you pointy Run. boots! No! Oh, Pilar, stop! This is going to cause a boatload of unnecessary paperwork! Wait for all of you guys! Why did you want to work for the Kingdom of Daventry anyway? I guess I saw potential in it. It certainly wasn't the kingdom you know today, but I've never shied away from a creative project. Yes? What do I need for the Duel of Speed? Bring your trusted steed to the tournament theater when you're ready for the Duel of Speed. You do have a trusted steed, don't you? Bye. Toodaloo.